All right, hello traders. This is Blake Morrow. You are listening to the um, you are listening to the uh, uh, daily roundup webinar. I want to welcome you guys. You know, I was uh, I was looking at these euro crosses. They are just getting absolutely destroyed today. Um, you have the euro Canadian. Uh, it was looking like it might be flagging. Then the bottom fell out of it. Uh, the euro Aussie uh, broke into new trend lows. Um, the euro New Zealand it hasn't broken a new trend lows, but uh, you know we're we're Finding some support, I guess, a pretty key support for the Euro uh, Euro New Zealand, um, but some really really big moves in these Euro currencies. And if and if you look at the Euro dollar, okay, the Euro dollar is just holding on to gains. But uh, I guess the 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 problem is is that you're seeing everything else against the dollar really move. So you're seeing the cable squeeze higher. You're seeing the Aussie is just at, at, at new trend highs. And matter of fact, the Aussie dollar is well above its 200 day moving average, continues to squeeze. Um, and so, you know, with the dollar moving the way it is uh, against all of these other currencies, and here's the Kiwi almost at the 200 day moving average, um, you can see that the Euro is just not following suit. Now, Polly just posted something um, which um, Mark Chandler had made a note, uh, Mark Chandler from, um, um, uh, Bach, 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 Bach burn. Uh, anyway, he said, um, he, he was talking about the ECB. Um, some of the ECB members might not, um, uh, um, um, uh, might think it's too early to, to boost, uh, uh, their PEPP, um, um, program. And that news actually came out via Market News International a little bit earlier today as well. So that's something that um, that I think a lot of traders are, are might be, you know, attributing the euro selling to. So, uh, but if you look at the euro dollar, frankly, you know, the fact that it's struggling up against this resistance would concern me a little bit if I, if I was long euros outright. So what we could see is, especially if the dollar does bounce, is we might see a little bit of a pullback in the euro dollar. And something that I'd mentioned during the, 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 the uh, week ahead video is I'd like to see the euro dollar, you know, kind of push back towards the 200 day moving average, um, maybe towards the one, 11070 110 11050 level uh, over the course of the next couple of uh, days ahead of the ECB meeting and that I think would provide us a better level to be on the long side of the euro if that happens and I'm not sure if that's going to ha happen or not but given the fact that the euro has not been rallying while the dollar's been selling off against everything else might be you know um, suggesting that Okay, one of the other currencies that uh, I want to point out that hasn't really been participating with this dollar weakness is the U.S. dollar Mexican peso. Now, we are at really key support here. Uh, yes, we've been a little lower. We've been you know below 22. We've been as low as 21.92. But remember, this is a big breakout point for the uh, for the dollar Mexican peso right at these levels. All right. Big breakout point. I, I've 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 been on the long side a lot over the course of the last week. Uh, I've made some money. I've given some back because I moved my stops to break even, and they didn't. You know, just, it, it just you know, with the overall dollar weakness, it just came back. But I'm I'm keeping a real close eye on the U.S. dollar Mexican peso um, because it hasn't sold off now. Uh, does that mean it's not going to sell off? No, that's not necessarily true. Uh, it could, it could, it could definitely play some catch up with uh, with the rest of the dollar pairs. But I think, and if you can see, I have an alarm set at the channel resistance. I think if, the, if we start breaking above twenty two twenty, that would be a signal that the U.S. dollar Mexican peso is ready to ready to move higher again. Um, and, and like I said, the what it's got going for it is the fact that it's not moving down all right it's in and when the dollar has been drifting lower against pretty much everything um that's something that i think we should you know obviously just keep an eye on because it is diverging away from the other pairs kind of like the uh kind of like the euro if the dollar starts to gain some strength uh that could be you know what slumps the euro what brings the euro under pressure um because you're going to get a lot of traders that have been long the euro um, watching the cable rally, watching the Kiwi or uh, the uh, the Aussie rally, the Kiwi rally, the the Canadian sell off, and the euro is not 
it hasn't been going up. So if it's not going up, well, if dollar strength starts to come uh, make its way back in, it might make its way against the euro. Uh, so just be careful if you happen to be long the euro dollar as a result. Like I said, I, I, I'm, I'm actually looking for a dip in the euro. I'm hoping we get a dip. I'm um, not saying that we're going to get it, but just, you know, if it, if it does happen, I'm, I'm going to be, a, I'm going to be a buyer of the euro on the, on the way down. Um, if it, if it does start to pull back. Uh, other than that, yeah, if you're trading, if you're trading these euro crosses, man, these things are heavy. You look at the euro sterling. Uh, matter of fact, I think we might have severed some, yeah, where last week uh, we were exiting this, uh, you know, higher and, you know, here's, here's a sell off and the Euro pound looks like we might actually be able to see this 8880 again, um, which may offer some, you know, support for a bounce eventually. But again, the, the Euro cross is like the Euro Aussie. I mean, this is breaking some pretty key support here. Euro New Zealand is close. Uh, Euro Canadian is close, but both of them still, um, you know, vulnerable, I think. Uh, let me see. Got a, uh, uh, Venkat says, should we buy Euro crosses now? Gone down too much uh, with this, you know, would it recover or drag? Well, you know, I don't think they're a bad play for maybe a bounce, but what's going to help them if you want to play them on the long side, like I, you know, I would look at the Euro Canadian cause it hasn't hit new trend lows or the Euro New Zealand cause it hasn't hit trend lows what I would do is I would look for, you know, an area like let's, let's just keep in the Euro, Euro Kiwi, for example, you know, if you're going to play this thing on the long side, you know, like we're at the 78% retracement, maybe be a buyer here and put in a stop below the 88% retracement down here at uh, 76, 60. And then this way, you know, your risk is manageable. And then I wouldn't be looking for a move to 180 either. I'd be looking for, you know, maybe a bounce back to 178, 179, doing something like that. Uh, unless, unless stocks really start to come under pressure. And if stocks start to come under pressure, that's when you, you, you start looking at these pairs thinking, okay, maybe we'll get a much bigger bounce than just a, just a bounce. You might get a, a, a full on reversal if that makes any sense. Um, uh, so thanks for writing in. And uh, let's see, got, uh, it's so so crazy. People have chats and they have Q and A, but Dom says until the Euro dollar is moving, you're basically trading the US dollar. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I'd agree with that Dom. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're basically, you're basically trading the, the dollar right now and probably going to be trading the dollar versus, you know, if you're trading the Euro dollar, you're basically trading it off dollar flows versus Euro flows until after the ECB meeting uh, this week. So, um, all right guys, well, remember if you haven't tried out Forex analytics, that means you're listening to this as a recording, make sure you do so. It's only $1 for 10 days. Uh, for those of you guys in the United States, maybe even in some parts of Canada. I hope you guys stay safe. And, you know, and remember, there's still a virus out there, so wash your hands. Uh, have a great one. Thanks, everybody. I'll talk to you soon.